all right welcome to this one um as promised in the last lecture we are going to write stories with ChatGPT. so i'm going to write three stories um one will be um you know a, a, a thriller story maybe one will be a horror one and one will be um love romantic story maybe let's let's see let's see um so i'm just going to write so remember this uh, the prompt writing which i mentioned earlier is it means that what query you are going to give to chat gpt the better your query is the better response it will give you cannot give a uh, write me a story so it doesn't have any context right so you have to write it in such a way that it is imagine you are writing the, uh, or telling this or you know um teaching this to a one two year old five year old right you have to explain them everything from the beginning and that's how you should treat chat gpt as it's a child it can, it can give you immense knowledge, but you have to explain your query first. So remember that. So write me a you know, horror story with planning and plotting and climax and an exciting ending. It should not consist of any death or any um, gory scenes but it should be me a uh, frightening one and it should end with a note of how good wins good wins over bad now this is a very defined story defined uh, script i don't even know whether it's going to give me an answer right it just came up i i this was not scripted guys this is just came out in my came out in my mind and i just typed it out so i don't even know what's going to answer so let's just keep hand hit the enter button right so of course uh it, oh, okay oh it started right okay 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 even i'm getting uh you know um what do you say excited here Yes, you did. She entered the mansion and greeted with musty smell and sound of breaking floorboards. As she explored the mansion, she discovered it was haunted by a malevolent spirit known as Black Widow. The Black Widow said was said to have a bitter woman who had died in the mansion. The spirit was at home in the hall, seeking revenge for anyone who dared to enter them. It doesn't make the deep in the mansion. She realized Black Widow was not just a person, but the reality she began to feel a growing sense of dread in the spirit as i mean refused to give up she knew that the only way to defeat the black widow was to control her head on so with brave heart and dear my spirit and we set out to face the mother of the spirit in the heart pounding climax i faced on like uh, but in the end emily's courage and kindness that proved the black widow's undoing the spirit was finally led to rest when we was victorious as in another mention, she couldn't help but feel a sense of triumph. She faced her fears and torn from the dollar. She knew that no matter what challenge they had, this she would always be her. The end. Okay, that's a nice story. That's a short, sweet, nice story. I and uh, I kind of liked it. You know, I, I'm not sure about you, but I kind of liked it. Um. Uh, okay, this was nice. Let me uh, let me just uh, ask something else. All right, let me ask something else. Mm -hmm. um okay let me just copy okay write me sorry uh write me uh what, what did i say horror thriller thriller story with plotting and planning and suspense and suspense it should be a murder mystery murder mystery mm. also there should not be any ghost involved it should all be humans and it should be in it should be an indian story with black magic and um 
what, what, what is India famous for? Black man, negative ones. Black magic and uh, okay, sure. Black magic and white magic, and it should have a glorious end. It should be a story of four to five people in a group let's see okay this just came up my mind and you know everything here is just uh, random i don't even have anything in my mind so let's see how it goes okay now this time as the previous one i was reading it out i will not read it out because i want you guys to read it out all right so i'll be in mute let's see all right okay now i didn't read this one so let me just take time and read it with you guys in the busting city of mumbai a group of four friends rohan priya Arya, aryan and isha decided to take a break from the hectic lives and go on a weekend trip to a remote village on the outskirts of the city as they settled into their accommodations they began to notice strange occurrences happening around them object would move on their own and they would hear strange noises in the middle of the night they soon learned that the village is known for its history of black magic and dark rituals as the days went by, the friends started to investigate the strange happenings in the village. Soon they discovered that local businessmen who had recently acquired a piece of land said that it to be cursed and had gone missing. The friends decided to split, split up and gather information about the missing businessmen and the curse surrounding land. Rohan and Priya went to talk to the local villagers while Arya and Isha went to businessmen's office to look for clues. As they de delved deeper into the mystery, they began to uncover a web of secrets and lies involving the corrupt government officials and the powerful black magic practitioner and even a white magic practitioner who has been trying to stop the black magic practitioner. Okay okay this is getting exciting guys uh, as a friend got closer to the truth to realize that they were in grave danger the black magic action has set his sights on them and they were being stalked by his dark powers in a thrilling finale the friends decided to confront the black magic action and put an end to his evil ways but they used their knowledge of both black and white magic to defeat him and bring peace to the village and mission missing businessmen was found and brought back to home the friends returned to mumbai as heroes having saved the mystery and brought to an, an end to the curse that have been plag plaguing the village for too long they had used the intelligent bravery and the power of uh, good to to triumph over the evil the end all right this could be a good short film guys i mean why not you, you see how how exciting i am um okay the last one the last one let's try um, a, a love story right uh, rather hold on that love story is just too uh, you know um what is love story is just too mainstream let's try a betrayal story yeah let's 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 try a betrayal story so write me uh me a uh, betrayal okay what's wrong with me betrayal story of two best friends best friends and how one uses the other to um, gain um, benefits and it should not be a happy ending story it should seem kind of kind of kind of um what do you say kind, kind of what you first um a, a kind of incomplete huh, okay incomplete complete see incomplete but also should have let's see have a um have a satisfying conclusion Con conclusion at the end let's see what it does i'll again go on mute and let this start working okay it seems it is done let's see okay there were two best friends sarah and rachel they had been friends since childhood and had been 
throw everything together. They trusted each other and their life shared everything, including their dreams and aspirations. Sarah was a hardworking, ambitious woman who had always dreamed of st starting her own business. Rachel was equally ambitious, but she was content of to work with her way up to the corporate ladder. One day, Sarah confined confined in rachel about her plans to start her own business she shared all her ideas for using ever and even her business plan with rachel rachel listened attentively and offered her support and encouragement but little did sarah know that rachel had gone her own agenda she saw the opportunity to advance her own career by using sarah's idea and plans she went behind sarah's back and presented the same idea and plans to her boss and soon got a promotion sarah was devastated to find out and she felt betrayed used by her friend. She struggled to come out in terms of what happened and felt like her dreams had been ripped away from her. Rachel tried to make amends uh, but the damage has been done. Sarah couldn't bring herself to forgive and the friendship was never the same. In the end, Sarah decided to move on and start her own business. She struggled but eventually she made it and she was successful. Rachel's career continued to advance but she couldn't shake that off, shake off the guilt that what she had done to her best friend. The story ends with Sarah is going to the separate ways both successful in their own right but the sense of incompleteness and unspoken regrets lingering between them i mean okay okay this had a con conclusive end but it's still incomplete you see though both of them goes there in separate ways but rachel did not get what she what she deserved and sarah did not even get what she aspired to um i think this is really awesome guys this is really awesome so you see the more more the moral of this particular lecture is that you can use chat gpt for any particular thing it may be story writing maybe script writing maybe poem writing anything right so you know let's say you are bored and you want some exciting story just write it to chat GPT guys and it, they, it will just answer you that I mean why not right why not so it is that awesome so with this I'll end this lecture and um, I would request you to go ahead and practice this you know I am rather just go ahead and explore with chat GPT and i think this is really awesome i'll see you in the next lecture till then keep exploring bye bye